Hi guys, it's me. I'm doing a painting today with you guys. Um, I'm actually going to finish it. I started it and I haven't really had a chance to finish it. And um, I'm very happy I have on kulaks. Look, this is like years ago we were wear. It's called a squirt, squirt, but it's really a kulaks because it's, you know, all staple in the bottom. And uh, yeah, I love it. I thought I'd never fit in one, but I do. I love it. And I love the color. It's so pretty. <laughs> anyway, just want to say hi. I'm going to bring you down. If my husband will have a heart attack. He's the one buying me all the clothes. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> so, anyway, here we go. We're going to start. We're going to finish this one. Somewhat kind of finish. I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish it, but I will try. I hope you guys can see very well. Here. Let's put it like that. All right. Uh, first, what I want to do is I want to do some more like to have a nice flow, flow going on here. Paint the sides a little bit. Yeah, because I like to paint the sides also. Mm -hmm like a forest <clears throat> more or less like the other one I did the green forest this is going to be like the blue forest so and, yeah, let's do this sign up a little bit on the top there not too much on the top mm -hmm. so, do you guys see what I'm doing I hope you can see very clearly what I am doing and why I love this brush so much for painting seascapes and uh, landscapes. It's a very good brush to do this type of painting. You know, just hit it there. You know, just don't be so brutal about it. Just hit it a little bit that you get some on there. And uh, you keep going through with it. <clears throat> yeah, you just keep have some of it come into the middle there. You know, just a little bit come into the middle. Yeah. And just keep hitting it. That's what I do. That's how I paint. Everyone paints different, I know this. Um, being blue, all blue forests. Yeah. <clears throat> Isn't that pretty? Uh, I think it looks pretty already. And that there. Yeah, I'm just gonna make it like water in the beginning there, not too much water all around. And I, I, since it's gonna be blue forest, then I guess this will be part of the grass in the bottom. grassy bottom here. <laughs> yeah. and this is just the part of the sky and the water. The water at the bottom there. I want the water to go all around this area here. So just kind of tap it. Tap it, tap it, tap it. And you have a little bit of tapping to go there. Yeah, just keep hitting it. That's what I do. Paint the edges lastly. Usually I wait for the next day to just paint the edges. So I do what's most important right now, which is all the top. I'm getting it all covered. Coverage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, let's, let's hit it some more here. Uh, uh, uh. Not there. And 
go over here and go over here. I could probably put a little chair here, like you sit in the grass and look at the water. Could do that. Just put a little chair. I'll put it right here. A little, like a little bench. Uh, this is a, is this another blue? This is the same blue. There's another blue here, this blue. So let me see how this blue mixes with that blue. I like to mix my blues sometimes to get different blues. And just to see how it turns out. Let's see. Eh, it's still good. It's a good blue. It's a nice lighter blue, which is good. Nice lighter blue. Or, or you can mix white. Let's see how the white will look with this. I first of all, I painted the background all light blue just to have... A, a, you know a coverage and I paint it and I put I put water first I wet the whole canvas and then I put a light blue in the background which you can still see it here it's this light blue right here and this is white so you can make it a little lighter blue instead of so dark blue it means up to you how you like it I like it the dark blue so I'm gonna keep it the, the dark blue <laughs> Yeah, I like the I like the dark blue better. It's not gonna turn this dark blue anymore because I already put white in it, but it's okay. Two different shades of blue. Mm -hmm. There we go. Uh, and the forest. Mm, this side of the forest will be a little lighter than that side. This side I can still put some more. I'll whiten it a little bit just to get a little color, different colors throughout the blues so we don't have just a plain old blue. You see, now that I kind of got it together with this different blue, it kind of looks a little bit better. Well, if you know me, I go, I have to step all the way back and look at it from far away to see if it's really doing what I want it to do, you know, because I'm very picky that way. I like to make sure it stays nice and the way I like it. Hi y'all. I'm making this video just a regular video because I noticed that when I go in the other channels and I make a video it's stuck there. It's like they want you to just be stuck in that channel and do all the work with them. And uh, yeah, so I really don't want to do that. So instead, that's why I'm doing it like this, just videotaping it. So I hope right now you can see it. Yeah, you can see it. There you go. See it up close. Yeah, now I want to make a tree here, but um, <sighs> let it dry. <laughs> a lot of times you got to wait for it to dry so that you continue painting on it because you don't want to draw you don't want to put paint on top of paint on top of paint and keep doing that because that's a pain it really is it's just not a good thing and you could take this brush and swipe it across swipe it swipe it swipe it swipe swipe it swipe it across get that water to look like it's really moving that's a good idea and you can swipe it downward with the same brush or you could use this brush to swipe it down with you see this is another of Peter Drenison's brushes you could take it and you could swipe it down with this big brush instead and um, it's not really wet so it's not doing anything it's got to be a little wet the brush you can't have it the brush so dry to just make it look like real water. See? Just leave it like that, that's okay. Just leave it. And uh, the white, I want this to stay really white, so I'm just gonna go back on there and go over that white a little bit. <clears throat> just going down, down. 
Yeah, the brush was kind of too wet, but that's okay. I just keep swiping it across. Little ways in there. <coughs> I just like the dark blue color, it's so pretty. Mm -hmm. Light blue color is so gorgeous. Yeah, I'll just hit it up a little bit so it can look like the leaves out of nowhere is falling there. Okay. Let me put blue, green grass down there somewhere. I don't know. It may not just be an all blue forest, like I said. Uh, they can make. Uh, where's my knife? This one, so you can kind of. You can make little, like little branches of the tree, and just. Close off the white too much. That'll leave some of that white there. Just make it look like a, like it's just a. the same blue again just make it a little lighter and darker in some places so that it can stay exactly the way I want it to stay more or less yeah, yeah. this is a, I'm gonna start closing this off I'm closing it off too much yeah. close it off too much but I don't want to close it off too little either so With the, with the white, it looks better because it makes it look like a, um, let's see, like a, a really light forest. Yeah. I'm just kind of twisting my brush as I do this, just twisting it. Yeah, so. The twisty helps. <laughs> I do this all the time. I start one way and then I go another way. And that's why I don't like to paint online because that's what makes me take so long. Because and then I look at it and I say, oh, I don't like it like that. I want it to look like a real forest. And uh, yeah, I think I, I think some of the pe other people do this too, just to make it look like a real forest. Yeah. 
Ugh, white makes all the difference, doesn't it? At least you could tell the difference between the water and the forest. So. <coughs> That's what matters to me. I think another way to paint your big canvases if you want to get some cloudy effect. Just put the white color in it and make it look like a cloudy effect. I want it to be whiter in the middle in this area. Make it more white up there. <clears throat> this is another blending brush from Peter really good one. I got it all messed up. It's me. I just kind of messed it up. I shouldn't have used it the way I used it. It's okay, it has a little blue in it. It's not the end of the world. I'm gonna go back and put some more of this here. Just to make this like a this brush but I don't want it to be too wet I mean because yeah. then it starts dripping all the way down so you don't want your brush to be too wet when you take it out the water to use it on you know paintings like this you want it to be just a little wet not so wet uh, it's good to have the brush a little wet not too not too wet like I said for that you gotta use your hands for this part I, I find it better when I use my hands for this part <laughs> if you want like a cloudy effect kind of thing going on yeah that's what I like to do a little cloudy effect going on in there just let it be a little cloudy in there you can wait till it dries and redo it again tomorrow if you want because this is going to take a while to dry anyway it's gonna take like a good hour or two uh, down in this basement because it's nice and cold down here. So, yeah. Oh, 
So guys, don't forget to visit my friend uh, Peter Drenison. He's on YouTube. He could provide you with these nice blending brushes that he sells. He sells a lot of different paints and brushes. Anything you need, just tell him I sent you. <clears throat> now let's do a tree. I want to do a tree, but guess what? I don't have brown. I'm going to try to make brown with some black and some red to it. Yeah, a little black and red. Make a little brown here. It's going to be like a dark brown, maybe. Let's see how it makes. Mm. Oh yeah, that's a brown, all right? It's a nice dark brown like I want it. See, dark brown. Let's put a tree right here. And the tree is usually pointing, pointing towards the top part of it. So you don't want a tree that's going to be too big and crazy all over the place. Just, uh, just, uh, mm -hmm. Tree. You can have a little bump in your tree. Why not have a little bump on the tree? I like a tree that has a bump. It's going to be the big the tree in the forest. It's going to be forest. <laughs> All right, that's my little micro. That's where, where these come in, you see? Your micro mini brushes. You use them to. Oh, I just, I just ripped the top off something, but it wasn't the top of anything. It was just a plastic. <laughs> I thought it was the. I thought I already ripped my paintbrush. <laughs> I said, "Oh my God, I can't." With my clumsy hands. Yeah, let's do one going down. And. Uh, brush is kind of wet so it's not really taking on that much I have to like let the brush dry a little bit and then over here another branch coming off and another branch another branch and I don't want to make this tree like a two branchy tree you know just a few branches coming off that's all uh -huh. I don't know if I even want to make it a full tree. Just a tree with branches would be nice. Yeah. That's good, right there, that's good. My paint is drying, completely drying up. <laughs> yeah, it's like completely drying up. Mm -hmm. There you go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm splattered down. Ah, it's okay. You can always make whatever changes you want. It's up to you. This has a little brown in it. It got a little brown in it. Oh no. Mm -hmm. I like painting with my fingers. I, I love painting with my fingers. It's so good. Such a great gratification when you know, when you paint with your fingers. Open up these guys a little bit more.
think this is just a, a day with no clouds, no sun, just a day in the blue forest as well. This blue forest. Just let it be. Let it be. I have a brush that's really actually for that blending stuff. And that's uh, this brush. It's really made for blending this brush. I'm supposed to do this with it. Just to spread the paint. Yeah, but now it's gone all blue again. I wanted it to be more white than blue. What color should I make this tree? Should I make it red or should I make it yellow with orange tree? That would be a good tree. I haven't made a yellow and orange tree in a long time. Yeah. Peter Drennison is going to kill me. He's going to be like, what did you do to that painting girl? <laughs> Let me uh, get some more of that blue on there. It's such a small canvas. I feel like I'm finished already. Because it's so small, the canvas. I'm used to working on big canvases now. It's like I'm getting used to big canvases, not the small canvases. Right, I'm gonna do this tree and uh, let's see what colors I'm gonna use for the tree. Maybe I'll use uh, yellow, some bright yellow and red would be nice for a tree. Okay, you know what I could do first? I could put some branches, some branches first. I'm gonna kind of. You see how good this brushes this brush is a uh, one of those I don't know what you call them like teeth teeth marks on it it makes everything so much better seems like it's turning into autumn. Oh, nice autumn color. Uh. I always say I'm not gonna do anything today and I end up doing something. Anyways, that's me. Always, always do that. My husband laughs at me now. He doesn't even take me serious anymore. 
Because every time I tell him I'm not going to paint, I end up painting. <laughs> He's like, you're so funny. You always do that. You say you're not going to paint today, and you end up where you end up downstairs in your studio. Yep. That's me. I know people wish I would paint more, but I don't have the room for it. That's number one. Number two, I really don't do my painting for a living. I do it because I enjoy and I love painting. I mean, I get a disability check I'm happy with. My house is paid for. My cars are all paid for. So uh, my husband and I really don't need to work so hard. And my husband's getting ready to retire for good because he's even tired of working. He's uh, older than me, you know. And he should have been retired already, but uh, well, now he's gonna have to because the hotels in New York City are closing down. Some of them, especially the one that he worked in, is closing down. So yeah, that's it for that. That's it for that hotel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I said, well, we could just go hang out in the city. That's what we can do. Okay, let's see how this looks. Let me step back. Because for me to know how things are going, I have to really step back and look at it from far away. I still don't like this that is so kind of light blue. So I'm just going to let it dry and paint over it. <sighs> so you don't have too much how the paint in it, you could just take a tissue and ram it to it. Just erase some of the paint you put in it. Because you don't want like a bulky canvas due to the fact that your paint is all piled up there. Yeah, you don't want that. So I could take my finger and try to get that like a nice cloudy area. And then that would be it for my painting. I'll be done. Yeah, no, it looks good. Like a nice cloudy white area there. Nice and white, like I want it. Not too white, but not too blue either. You know, just uh, get it nice and light blue there. That's good like that. Mm -hmm. I don't do the tree on that side, so I have to erase those two areas here and here. Press too hard, you make the blue come through. Yeah, that's what I just did. That's what I just did. Make the blue come through there. Yeah, you don't want that blue coming through. Yeah. Ugh, much better. Much, much better. You don't want to press down too hard. Yeah, when you do the, the lines when you're painting, because if you press down too hard, you end up having. Big ugly lines in here. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Can I 
a little dark on this side because on that side of the tree is kind of the dark side, right? And um, let's see. And this side could be the lighter side of the tree. So we can say that the. Well, guys, I'm no Bob Ross, but I try my best. And I love painting, so I could paint forever if you let me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's do that. Right, I'm going to clean the brush. Because I had that brush in water. So I'm going to just ruin my paint here. Yeah, that's that little uh little uh chair I put there is supposed to have some grass underneath, not the water, because it's not floating in water, that's for sure. <laughs> that would be a first. Mm -hmm. To have something floating in water would be like a very first and funny at the same time. That's it, guys. I hope you like my last minute painting. I don't know. Should I put another tree here? I'll leave it alone. Yeah, I'll leave it alone. I don't want to make any more trees. This one didn't go look great. Yeah, you see, I got some glue on this. So I gotta make sure. Yeah. I can make it a little thicker tree. Um, just so I can come down a little bit. A little bit. That's great. Mm -hmm. Well, I say that's done. All right, guys. Love you all. God bless. And, uh, yeah. Have a nice weekend. What's left of it? Yeah, there's not much. Days are just going by so fast. I tell you, once you stay home, your days go by like they fly right by you. You're like, wait a minute, what's today? <laughs> You're questioning yourself about what day is it today. Yeah. Happens to me a lot lately. Uh, forest on my big big tree 
Love you all. Bye. Okay. Hi, guys. I finished the painting, so I just wanted to say hi and goodbye. So have a nice rest of this weekend. I know I will. And I just hope you guys do too. Love you. Okay. Turn this off.